And we're recording. Hello, guys. So I had an idea of something to make for a video today. I just made a quick update video on my new job and all that jazz that's been going on, and I had to upload that and make a thumbnail for it. And I was still feeling kind of energetic, maybe because I had, like, uh, I don't know, like eight cups of coffee today, but I still got that energy going, so I was like, hey, let's make another quick video. Uh, I had to make a thumbnail. It was really easy, quick process to make a decent thumbnail. So I was like, why not make a video about making thumbnails? So here we go. First thing you need to do to make a thumbnail, and this is just an example. You can use these tools to make uh, a variety of thumbnails, whatever you want. I'm just gonna show you the tools that I use and basically how to use them. Uh, first thing you wanna do, go to canva.com. You can see the name right there, C-A-N-V-A.com. It's free, you can make, look at all these thumbnails I've made. Wow, wow, look at them. And, and look at how much my thumbnails have improved over time using this free website. So you go to Canva, go to the upper right hand corner and hit use custom dimensions. We're gonna go with 1280 by 720 as is the guidelines for thumbnails upon YouTube. Fun fact, uh, first thing you need to do, you need a background. So you're gonna need to upload a background. These are my uploads. Uh, so you need an upload. Uh, for my video, I was talking, you know, sort of a vloggy type video, just kind of updating you guys about what's been going on in my life. But, you know, if you wanted to do something for gaming, you can just, you know, Google search, like, say we're making a Fortnite video. You come over here and you go, Fortnite, woo! Google search, images, you can take something from here and use that as background. You know, you're gonna right click, save image as, blah, 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 hit save. Let's actually do it so you can see what to do. So we're just gonna save that to desktop. We're gonna come back over to Canva. Where's our, uh, you're gonna go to upload image. You're gonna find the image you just downloaded. It's right there. Hit uploads pretty much instantly. And watcha, look at that. You can size it, you can arrange it. Cool stuff, right? Uh, so that's, you know, a good way to start if you're doing a gaming type thumbnail. And since I know a lot of people have gaming channels, that's what we're gonna make. Uh, so next, oh, I'll cut this, cut this, cut this, cut this part, because I said, um, um, I fucking hate when I say, um, when I'm thinking out loud. Like, isn't that so annoying? Like, there's one thing I've learned from fucking recording myself and doing this YouTube thing is I hate when I go, um, when I'm talking to people. Like, it just looks so shitty. Um, what's next, right? You get it, you get it. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come over to text because every good thumbnail needs text in it. I am very partial to this particular text font down here. I call it Spirit Night just because that's what it says right there. So by selecting that, it's gonna bring up this texty thing. You've got three different fonts here, three different areas to type in. I'm sure there's a word for those. I really like this one for my thumbnails. It's always in caps, it's got this nice like angle to it. It just looks unique. So this is what I use. We're gonna be like, uh, I'm bad at Fortnite. Lol. And then we're gonna stretch that out. Shoobity boo, put it up there. Ooh, black, that looks good. But maybe we want it, you know, two-toned. We want that black in the background. We're gonna go shoobity boo. Scoobity wow. Okay. I'm bad at Fortnite. Lol. And we're gonna stretch that out again. Woo! We stretched it a little bit too much. A little bit too much. Now we need to match that up here. Beautiful! Beautiful. Then I have this color pre-saved. Very easy to pre-save colors. And oh fuck my chicken nuggets! I'll be right back! Ah. <sighs> okay, update on the chicken nuggets. They are cooling and they're going to be delicious in about uh 10 minutes. So we are adding text. That's how you can do two-tone text. You just kind of layer two of the same image up together. And uh, it's it's pretty easy to do, and you can do a lot with that. You can fiddle around with it in your own ways to make it fancy. So we've got text, uh, but let's say we want to add an image of our face because they say in a good YouTube thumbnail, you want to have eye contact. And a lot of the big YouTubers, you know, your PewDiePie's, your Markiplier's, put their own faces into thumbnails. And uh, so, you know, there's an example of me trying to be a big fancy YouTuber. But how do you get an image like that? Well, you can come over to another free program called GIMP. It's essentially just a free sort of fan-funded Photoshop that 
don't quote me on that, but you know, it's it's free and it's good. It's got lots and lots of Photoshop-y stuff into it. You know, it's a it's a high-tier program. It's no paint. It's it's Photoshop. But I don't have any pictures of my face that are unedited sitting by for me to edit for you and it would be a complicated well not a complicated but it would take me away from this and I don't want to do that so we're, what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna show you how to make a clear background for an image and I'll kind of explain to you as we go how to do that with your own face as opposed to something that you just pull off of Google like uh, what, do, what do we want in the image let's be like uh, wolf psych let's try potato Po I can spell potato. Yes, typing and making videos is slightly more complex than just typing. Uh, so we got an image of a potato. It uh, okay? It already has an alpha channel. Uh, let's take this one. What you're looking for is something with a clear white, with a uniformed background or relatively uniform. If it's pure white like this, that's great. Despite the little shadow effects that we're seeing right here, uh, that's totally fine. You can definitely do this without it being on a white background, but that's what you're going to want to look for when you're starting to make clear backgrounds by adding alpha channels to images. So what are we going to do? We're going to save image as, shoobity boop. Then we are going to come over to GIMP. This is what GIMP looks like when it actually opens. Kind of a big program, so it does take a minute to open, If depending on the quality of your computer. A fairly good computer. That is a big image. So, uh, we are going to get this stuff out of the way so we can look at our whole image here. First thing we're going to do, we're going to go to Layer. We're going to go to Transparency, and we are going to add an alpha channel. The alpha channel is sort of like invisible paint. So we need to remove all this white paint around the potatoes and replace it with invisible paint. And that's how you make invisible paint. It's called an alpha channel. Next, we are going to go over to the Fuzzy Select tool, you know, the magic wand. Hold shift and that's going to select basically all the white. As you can see, these shadowed areas are not yet selected. But by typically, you can just kind of click your way in and get those all to select. Or you can just leave the shadows in there, you know, if you can't make it work. Because by selecting these darker browns, it's actually selecting the darker browns up on the potato here, which we don't want. So we're probably just going to end up leaving those shadows in, but I need to back this up. What is the button for undoing? Uh, control Z. So we need to go boop, that, boop, 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 boop. I don't want that. Brr. Hey, it worked. All right. Um, so we have backed it up. We are just going to take out some of these shadows. Not enough to affect the potatoes themselves, hopefully. We're going to call that good. You understand the concept. Then, very important, we are going to go over, come over to File. We are going to go down to Export As. We are going to change the little suffix at the end. It's probably not called a suffix, but I think you understand what I'm trying to say. To PNG. And it has to be PNG to export with an alpha channel. It's very important. This will not work if you do not do this step. PNG. I hope I got that right. I'm pretty sure it's PNG. We're gonna click export. Then it's very important that you come down here to this option, say background color, and uncheck it. It will almost always be checked. Sometimes it isn't, I really don't know why, but you wanna make sure that it's unchecked so that it saves with the clear paint, not the white paint. Then we're gonna hit export. It should only take about five or six seconds for this to export, although it was quite a large image quite quite a lot of data so not that long of a process pretty simple you can do a lot with it then we're gonna come back to our thumbnail we're gonna click upload images again we're gonna come down to I'm guessing it's the second one fuck that is a white background let's uh, come on let me let me delete it let me, uh, okay it's got to be the first one then I'm so oh fuck well which one of you is it well it's not you and it's not... Damn it. Damn it. Damn it, I have too many programs opened. Why? Why do you have a white background? I've done this a thousand times. Why didn't you work? Why didn't you work? Tell me. Ah! <laughs> because you have to fucking hit delete. You have to hit delete. As you hold shift and click, you are going to select the background uh, as you go. And then you actually have to delete it so that the white paint underneath 
show or the clear paint underneath the white paint shows. And I'm just going to leave all that in just so you can understand that this is a very important step in the process. Once again, we are going to export as we're going to change that to PNG. It already is. We're going to export, replace the one that we already saved. Don't need to check that again. Export, bing, bang, boom. That replaces the other one. I swear I didn't do coke before this video. Just coffee. Just coffee. Then we're going to go trash. Trash. Then we're going to upload our own image. That, one. that looks right. Yes! See? Clear! Paint. Boom. We have potatoes. You can position them. You can twirl them. You can remove those shadows to make it look less shitty. Or you can just, you know, do the easy thing and position it on top of similar tones so that it doesn't really show up in your thumbnail. Because, you know, when this is all shrunk down on somebody's phone, they're not going to notice those shadows under there. You can actually be very lazy with this and get away with it. Uh, how to do that with your face, if that's something that you're wanting to do, just take fucking selfies or get even better get somebody to take pictures of you standing in front of like a mono background a green screen green screen would be ideal or you can just take it in front of like a door you know like a, a solid white door or something or hang a sheet anything to give yourself uh, a clear concise background that is one color or you know very very close and then you're just going to go back to GIMP, you're going to select the fuzzy select tool, hold shift, and you're just going to click behind yourself. It should select everything. If it selects like two thirds of it, you're just going to work your way in as close as you can. And uh, then you're going to go through the same saving and exporting process like before. But back to Canva, Canva, back to Canva. To finish up this process, you are going to hit download at the top of the screen. PNG recommended. Leave it there and then you're going to hit download again and make sure you don't have anything on the thumbnail selected because if you're like if you're like still selecting the potatoes they will not show up in the saved image you need to click off to the side right over here or down here or something so that the potatoes are not selected otherwise they will not show up in the final image hopefully you guys enjoyed this video let's see how our thumbnail turned out boom look at that look at that ain't that gorgeous look at my pretty face next to those weird potatoes I hope you guys found this educational. Uh, I've never done any videos like this before, so if you enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up button. I'd appreciate it. Or, you know, subscribe. I would love to have you. If this video does well, I will do more videos like this in the future, so that would be great. Anyways, I love your guys' faces. Beard heart. Thank you for watching. Bye bye